Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And uh, this is a book that I had when I was in high school. It was uh, published in 1954, <laughs> and uh, it was my math book. And I took trigonometry, and uh, I could not, I had such a hard time looking or uh, learning this. And then I got to looking at this book years later, and of course, the guy that taught the class told us to go get this book. Well, this is reviewing trigonometry. In other words, it's like he expected us to already know it. No wonder I didn't do very good in the class. In fact, I even changed the name of the book from reviewing trigonometry. If you follow the numbers, me, no, try, trig. And that was my attitude. <laughs> and, I, and it tried me a lot, but I didn't try it too much. So anyway, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of use for mathematics until I was a teacher years later and teaching shop classes and they told me that uh, the next year I'd start teaching electronics and of course I didn't even understand what electronics meant at the time but I went to summer school and uh, I fell in love with electronics but the one thing that I learned was that uh, it, electronics you need a lot of math and I learned how to use math and I found out that it wasn't something that some teacher wanted us to learn it was a tool and it was a very precious tool, it was more precious than a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. So anyway, laying that aside uh, and getting to the subject, this here is a DX6 transmitter which I use on my fixed wing aircraft <clears throat> and I was fortunate enough to be able to afford this because uh, it's one of the best uh, transmitters for uh, all kinds of RC stuff. But one of the things that it has that other uh, controllers that I've had in the past did not have was the exponential control of the uh, of the uh, control sticks and of the of the aircraft. And exponential <laughs> uh, wasn't even a word I understand until uh, just a well actually I understood it but I didn't know exactly what it meant. An exponent is that little number that appears uh, in the upper right hand corner of a of another number and it means that it's going to multiply that other number by itself so many times let's take a look at uh, the uh, little thing I made up here in Word um, and Excel to kind of help us understand before I get into why this is important to the uh, pilots of the uh, Mavic 2 because it has exponential controls and you can adjust that so let's take a look at, first of all, if you've ever heard the story of a, if, if a guy says, uh, I'll pay you a penny the first day, and then the next day I'll double your wages, and the next day I'll double your wages, and but you'll have to work all day for me for, you know, as long as you want to work on this job. Well, if you take a look at this little chart, you'll notice that in the blue, that would be the first week. He made a penny and then two cents on Tuesday and four cents on Wednesday, and by the time he got to Friday, he was making 16 cents uh, a day. And so, uh, I don't know how that adds up, but anyway, he, he was making 20 some odd cents uh, by the end of the week. But the next week, uh, he came to work and uh, Monday he made 32 cents, Tuesday 64 cents, and 128, 256, and finally on Friday he was making $5.12 an hour. And so now the pennies are beginning to add up. So the weekend came and the third week he was making um, $10.24, uh, and, and then by the end of the week, Every day he went to work, he was making $163.84. Well, then the fourth week came along, and every day got a double. Every day the boss doubled his salary for that day. So Monday he made $327. Tuesday, six, uh, $655. By the end of the fourth week, every day he went to work, he was making $5,000. $5,402.88 and then the next week he made more and more. That's called a exponential increase. <clears throat> okay. Now uh, if you look over here this uh, two, 2 squared is 4. We, all, we understand that most of us. That means 2 times 2. Uh, there's two of them there and so that equals 4. If we go 2 cubed that's 2 times 2 times 2 and that comes out to 8. So you can see how the exponential thing works. The, the first chart here that uh, is what I put together in Excel is the story of the guy making a penny a day and then it doubling. That's how his salary increased. So at first he didn't make a whole lot of money but by uh, 
Well, actually, that's, that's for 30 days. By the end of working 30 days, which would be like six weeks, uh, he was a multimillionaire and, and growing fast. So that's exponential. Now, another term is linear, and most of the old uh, controllers that I've had for everything were linear. In other words, if you move the stick one way, uh, it, if you move it twice as far, you got twice as much. Or half as far, you got half as much. That's, uh, that's, that's linear. But then now if we go down to the bottom graph, this looks kind of like what the exponential uh, numbers are, that are used in the, uh, in the DX6 and also in the controller of the, um, of the Mavic 2. Uh, as you move, the, as you move the, the, uh, sticks just a little bit, it changes very, very little. You move it a little bit more and it changes more. And then if you want it all the way over, you get the full, the full measurement. I like that because that means I can make nice, smooth movements, and uh, so uh, you, you don't have a jerky video, especially if you're panning. So now let's take, I went outside and uh, I experimented around and found some things. So let's take a look at that video and uh, understand how we can control that in the, uh, in the settings of the uh, controller for the Mavic 2. All right, so let's go outside. Okay, now let's get it further away from the trees. That'd be good right there. Okay. Now, we're going to go into settings and go to the drone and scroll all the way to the bottom and go to advanced settings and go to EXP. Now this uh, I'll have to explain later, but as you s can see, I'm going to work with the, with the throttle up and throttle down and uh, turning left and right so I'm going to barely move the stick and you can see he starts to turn gently I'm sorry I'm not using I'm using rudder okay we go the other way you notice it does that okay now then you'll notice that the further that little yellow dot goes up that line the faster it turns all right Okay, now, that's adjustable from point, point 0.1 to point 0.99. And you can adjust it by typing in numbers, or you can adjust it with your fingers. Uh, but we'll go ahead and type in the numbers. If I can get this to work here. Okay, so we've got a backspace. And we're going to type in point 0.99. Well, 0.9 is good enough. Now you notice how the how the uh, uh, curve is different. By the way, that's called an exponential curve. Now watch what happens when I barely move the stick. Notice that how responsive it is. So 0.99 means uh, if you want to turn around really fast. Well then, uh, that's what you would use. But uh, I don't, you know, for making videos like I make, I don't like that. Now this time I'm just going to use my finger. I think I can use my finger. Yeah, there we go. To uh, to change it back. So now when I turn, it turns real nice and slow. Okay. So that's the EXP, which stands for exponential, which I forgot to mention. All right. Now let's see what happens when I go to sport mode. Let's see if that changes, if I can get sport mode on here. There's... Okay, I see. I've got to answer a question here. Go back to settings. Go to the drone. There we are. Now you notice in sport mode, it's almost like it... Uh, like if I start to turn it... You can't really... You, you don't have as much control. So now we're going to get out of sport mode. And we're going to go to uh, 
Oh, he's going to beat because. Okay, now let's see if we can go to. Okay, that's good. And we're in normal mode, I think. I can't see here. Okay, so you can see what X exponential does. It makes it so you can turn real slow. You can still turn just as fast. And we go the other way, of course. So that's that's uh, that's what exponential does. It makes it so you can have a a little a slower start, barely turn if you don't have a shaky thumb like I do. And then the other two, the throttle up, throttle down, forward and right, and forward and left, they work the same. Let's get that guy over there out of the way here. There we go. They do that. You can control them the same way. Okay. So that's what EXP stands for exponential is all about. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, go out of here. Let's see. First we've got to go here. Then we got to go X. And we're still recording. And now we're going to come in for a landing. Okay. Here we go.